Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles right here in Mansfield, Texas. I'm here today to show you a Georgetown RV. It's a model number 370. It comes with Alcoa aluminum wheels and a fresh set of Michelin 22 and a half inch tires. The 22.5s are what you find on your big over-the-road trucks. So with those big tires, I know this has a heavy-duty chassis. Forest River is the parent company, and this is the Georgetown XL Series. And it's a three-slide RV, and it has leaf guard canopies on top of each of the three slides. It also has a entrance door for the driver. You got a grab rail and a foot foothold. Storage compartments underneath. It does have an Onan generator and I could not get the generator started. I believe since the RV has less than a quarter of a tank of fuel, it's probably why it's not starting. But anyway, whatever's wrong with it, we'll, we'll get the generator running before the buyer picks it up. It's a 50 amp service. It's got the big, co big cable. <clears throat> it's got a storage compartment in the back and a ladder that goes up to the roof and it comes with a backup camera. I'm going to walk around and show you the inside. The outside is very clean. I don't see any damage. It's really a very nice RV and only has 14,000 miles. It's got this power step when you open the door can see the step slides out the interior has a, a sofa that folds out into a bed nice overhead storage there's your dinette this RV's got a few features that I haven't seen on RVs before and I'm going to show them to you the, the overhead TV has been converted to a flat screen. We've still got the wood trim in one of the storage compartments that goes around here that filled the gap when it was not a flat screen. Inside these compartments, there's a power TV antenna control and a Magnavox DVD player. And this TV is, it's on a adjustable slide so you can kind of move it around a little bit. But there's the uh, DVD and a VCR player. It's got nice shaded screens that pull down on both sides. You can get them, have them real dark, you can have them real light. Also has a curtain that goes all the way to the front. It's set up for XM radio, you just need a subscription and the mileage is 14,000. 14,899 on the miles. This is your generator control. It's showing 733 hours. And again, I couldn't get it to start, but we'll get it figured out. I noticed this little armrest is loose on this seat. Not a big deal, but we're a motorcycle dealer and we take all kinds of trade-ins. The windshield wiper blades on the bottoms they're starting to separate so I would say it needs some windshield wiper blades the RV is pretty clean the carpet has a few spots in it it could stand to be professionally cleaned at least the carpet because it's just a real light color the, the countertops are very clean you can see the sink it's got the double sink it's all very clean very nice there's a lot of keys that come with this RV, several sets. It's got a gas three burner cooktop stove. Doesn't even look like it's been used. Uh, overhead microwave, it's a half time oven. So it's like a convection oven. And it also looks like maybe they popped some popcorn in it, but it hasn't really been used. Overhead oak face cabinets, refrigerator and freezer. And they're very clean. You can kind of get a get a view of the inside. What's unique about this RV that I've never seen? It has a bathroom here in the front. It has another bathroom in the rear. So basically, you got two bathrooms, and I've never seen that before. 
It's almost like a two bedroom apartment. This right here is a a closet area, but it can also be used. Looks like they put some shelves in here, some makeshift shelves that you could remove. But it's got the plumbing in here for a, one of those washer and dryer setups. There's the plug, there's the hot water and the cold water, and the drain. So if you wanted to convert that to a washer and dryer, you certainly could. It's got a pantry with a, these slide out racks to hold your stuff. And the bedroom area has two slides, one for the bed and then one for the closets and the TV. So you can see these closets are, are pretty deep. And this little door that goes here to the back, that's what goes to the rear bathroom. And that's what makes this RV really unique. It's got a porcelain toilet back here, two sinks, a very good size shower, kind of a stand-up shower. An old sunroof. But that's a big shower for a big person. You got linen closets here. But it's really a pretty big private bathroom and you, you can close the door and separate yourself from the rest of the RV. And even in the dressing area here, which has a lot of room, you've got another door that you can pull that pin and slide this off. So literally, before they can get to you, you've got two doors. One for the private bathroom in the back and one for the bedroom. I just think that's pretty cool. Normally an RV, you don't have much privacy. This one's got it, but it's a luxury, a luxury coach. Lots of nice overhead storage. And there you have it. Give us a call. If you don't mind doing a little, little shampooing on the carpets, we could probably get a quote from a local carpet cleaning company. I bet they'd come out here and shampoo the carpets for probably $50 or $100. But there you have it. As I mentioned, the TV was converted in the front from the old style to the new style. 14,000 miles on a nice RV. I don't think, again, the kitchen has been used very much. But thanks for looking. Thanks for your time. This is Bronco Bob. Wishing you happy trip.